Who says a good old-fashioned muscle car can't be green? There are some good, clean options with plenty of muscle pedigree out there these days. And WSJ's Rumble Seat columnist Dan Neal is here to tell us about them. Hi, Dan. Thanks for being with us. Hello, Tanya. <laughs> so, Dan, is all of this modernization happening at the loss of the monster motor? And what about acceleration? Yeah, you'd think that. In fact, uh, you know, the story started when I started looking around, looking at all these very, very small engines that were putting out huge amounts of power, like a Mercedes two-liter turbo that puts 355 horsepower out. And then along comes the Mustang, which is kind of like the perfect example. You know, the original pony and muscle car. Uh, the the engine of choice in this car that, while well, you can get a V8, the engine that they really want you to buy is the 2.3 liter four cylinder uh, turbocharged engine, uh, which you'd think doesn't sound very muscly, but the thing puts out 310 horsepower and it's actually faster than some of the legendary Mustangs of, of the early 70s, like as I said in my story, the Boss 351. And you liked it? Oh, it's tremendous. This thing is ridiculous. These, uh, first of all, the Mustang is 50 years old. Uh, it's never been better, uh, which in some respects is easy because there were decades when it wasn't really very good at all. But in the 60s, <laughs> it, was a, it was a great car. And in the 2000s, it's been a great car. And this thing, uh, it, the value, the performance, the style, I mean, it's a real runaway hit just in time for the 50th anniversary. Uh, excellent. Now, not wanting to be left in the dust, though, Dodge has the Challenger Hellcat. What did you think of this one? Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, you know, out in the frontier, the wild woolly frontier of uh, pony cars and muscle cars, there has always been a group of people sticking giant, giant motors in these cars. And the Hellcat is uh, a special project of Dodge. They put a 707 horsepower supercharged 6.2 liter engine in thing. It, uh, it is absolutely a beast. I mean, the supercharger on the engine is the size of a sea turtle. It's huge. And uh, the, the thing makes, I mean, you know, it sets off car alarms and birds fly, fall out of the sky. I mean, it's really <laughs> impressive. Uh, and uh, and then and then the Chevy makes a ZL1 that's a you know similarly crazy and upfitted. So the point is that the pony car wars and the muscle car wars are hardly over. They're stronger and faster than ever. The nostalgia is thick in the air. Will all these cars take us back to the 60s heydays? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, Dan, is there anything these cars and engines have in common? Yes, it's uh, efficiency. And you know, this is all about specific power. It's making the same amount of power with half the cylinders or less. So, you know, besides hundreds of engineers uh, who are working night and day at fear of losing their jobs, that's one thing they have in common. Uh, but the fact that they can get so much power out of just a little bit of gas, I think um, it's a good, you know, it's, the news hasn't been all that good lately. Uh, this is a good news story. All right, Daniel, we love it. Thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you, Tony.